if you get easily offended by words like you know retarded gay faggot uh those are the same things but um uh, yeah. you know i don't care so just letting you guys know now because um i'm not gonna censor myself for people that i don't know nor do i care about yet um but yeah just you know just a, just a warning now because you know um this this is how it be um so okay I'm gonna ask you this first question, Josue. I want you to answer truthfully. Why was it that you were kicked out of our church? I wasn't kicked out, damn it. <laughs> oh, he's trying to that's put some shit on me. Okay, I don't know anybody that's been kicked out of church. Um, that's why I've I was trying to I've ask. Never, now, word around the church out. is pedophilia. So but that's not know. true. <laughs> he doesn't want to know. I don't believe what other people tell me. I try to witness it for myself. Um, if you are, you know. But if you're not, I mean, that's cool. If you are, that's not cool. But, um, yeah, we just want to know why you stopped going to church. Did you stop believing in God? Not it. I just didn't want to go to church anymore, especially that church, since it sucks. <laughs> Okay, well then, um, second question yeah, here is, what the fuck? Um, second question here is, um, why, why are you, why don't you have a job? Why can't you get a job? You know, times are tough, the whole coronavirus shit happened, and, uh. And now, before the coronavirus shit happened. Because I was going to go into the Marines, so there's, like, no point of getting a job. And, and what happened to that dream? Oh, no, I didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> well, there you have it. This lazy piece of shit who... No, it's because I wanted to do something more. Nah, I want to be something more than somebody serving this shit-ass country. I, I, I feel that. Uh, on a spiritual level. But at the same time, I can't because... Well, I would... Let's not dig into that. Let's, let's not dig into that. Um... Right here, looking through my notes to see other ways to throw your name into some more dirt. Why do you beat your mom? <laughs> don't be. Why are you? Why are you, why are you accusing you me of shit I don't do? I feel like okay. This is a question everyone has. Like, you you have a Hispanic mom, but you treat her like she was a white mom. Everyone wants to know why. Why do you do this? Why do you hate your mother? I don't. I just like messing around with her. Um, I call her woman sometimes, but as a joke, not like actually. Hmm. It's incestuous. What? No. <laughs> what? I just want to clear things up. I you no. know. Well, just kidding. Maybe not. I don't know what goes on in your life i know that your family's into weird hobbies your father collects nutcrackers yet every time i go to your house i see no nuts <laughs> um that's a little weird if you ask me but that's just this mess, bro. <laughs> that's just the way that it goes <laughs> you see um no i'm i'm obviously kidding you know but uh, you know, I'm just we're just let's just get to know each other. Let, let's just you know expose ourselves out there to the world. Okay, what is it? What is it that you, that you want to do? What are your inspirations? I want to be a business owner. I also want to make music on the side. Uh huh. Well, I want my own dispensary, man. So you're no. also delusional. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm but... just kidding. Damn it. No, but uh, um, what about you, you, you stupid, stupid, stupid cunt? What the fuck? Um, I don't know. That's my answer. I really don't know. Um, I rather, you know, I rather do something like I, I don't know. I'm very lazy when it comes to this sort of things. I rather be at home, you know, watching things or or playing things. If I could get paid for that, I'd be like super rich right now. That'd be amazing. I actually thought about emailing Jeff Bezos one day and asking for like a small loan of a million dollars, which I would never pay him back for because like, that guy makes like literally hundreds of millions of dollars a day. So I don't really think a million dollars is going to do anything. 
It's his bank account. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, dude, like uh, I don't know. If I could get some money, I'd I'd go into um stocks, cause that's very interesting to me. Like the way that you can make money through that, like over time. That's very interesting, like thing I to do. You. I feel you. Which um, which but I feel like right now is not the right time for stocks. Cause with the whole Corona thing, cause um, you know Andrew Yang, he, you know he said that our economy is gonna go down to shit like after the whole fucking Corona thing is over, so you know, uh, there's you know it's basically an aftershock for us, which we're gonna suffer greatly, um, which is gonna suck. It's about to be 2008 all over again. And, uh, nah, I feel like it's gonna be worse than 2008. Cause I mean it's not it wasn't a pandemic you feel me like That's it's true. gonna be in I mean okay so do you think that things are gonna change after Corona's over? Uh yeah, but I don't know. But like uh, in 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 what ways would you think? Uh probably like I don't know. I feel like I guess you, uh-huh, you go could ahead. say you don't know just like. Just like, like rules and regu- regulations around shit. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel as if like uh, we're. I feel like handshakes are not gonna be like a thing anymore, because it's like people have become like more aware of how like germs, you know, spread now. Like it, they're like, they're more aware of it. I guess you could say, because it was always like it's not a thing that just you know people just find out. It's just it, it, awareness has been brought more to it. Yeah. But I feel like that's gonna be gone. Like people are always gonna stick with the elbow thing, which yeah. you know that's kind of weird too. And then like the way I guess the way we do things as well, cause uh, I don't know, I don't. I, I feel like it could be good for in a good way and then also in a bad way, cause it's like you know humans need that interaction with other people. But yeah, I don't know. Like that's just it's just gonna. I feel like it's really gonna be different after. After all is said and done with the corona. Which, which, um, it's a terrible thing, I feel like. Yeah, my man, Steven Survivor. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, unfortunately, I did get the corona. But, um, unfortunately for the corona, I'm, you know, I'm a bit of a survivor. Uh, so I wasn't gonna let that shit take my life. Cause I have, uh, um, Lots of things to do and lots of uh, more things to expose Josue about, like his severe drug addiction to cocaine. I don't, I don't have a. I which don't we're hoping have a drug to get addiction. him. We're gonna get him into a rehabilitation center. Why are you always lying on my name? I feel like I if you were more respected, it wouldn't be this way. But because you're retarded, it's just we can get away with it. <laughs> I um, hate you. For those people that don't know, Josue was dropped like several times I on was his not head. I was not dropped. And um, he just never really recovered from it. And uh, neither lying. did his family. Uh, his sister turned into prostitution. His That's mom got hit by a car on that purpose. Is very true. Uh, not on purpose, but um. And his Dig dad in. has become a hoarder. So the whole family is just decaying. Um, this is, it, and it's up. a sad thing to watch as a close friend. You know, all I can do is just be there and, um, you know, just, just support him. Support Yo, Steve, him. leave the country real quick. <laughs> okay. <that's, laughs> I can leave the country. I just can't come back. Um, exactly. For those people uh, wanting to know, I am a convict for. Oh my God, I'm getting dicked right now. I'm not get. I'm not a convict for getting dicked. I'm just I'm <laughs> getting dicked. Um, I'm just a convict because I actually stole many girls' hearts in high school and they never recovered. Sadly. But there's nothing I can do. 
and that's all I can talk about right now because uh, I don't want to get lawsuit. Um, okay, we should be fine now. You just, you just, you're stupid, bro. I am not stupid. I'm just mentally unstable. You could say. Let, let's talk about our friends real quick, okay? We have we have several friends, right? That that they're close friends, um, but they they all hate us for some reason, um, because they and and it's not our, like our, the contract under Josue, you know, where we have to hang out with them legally, uh, for oh, the paychecks just... that we get. Um, guess his mom pays us. So we can hang out with her son. It's a bit sad, but um, oh, he's lying. it's nothing we can we can we can do about it. You feel me? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I like to kid a lot. I am a bit of a, you know, pathological liar. It's just is that a real thing? Did I just make that up? A pathological liar. Yeah, did I just make that up? Uh, I I don't know. You might have. I think I'm just a genius who likes to lie a lot. Also, what the fuck? Also, um, let's expose some close celebrity friends that we have. Um, like Obama here. Um, I don't know if you people know about Pizzagate, which you guys should really dig into that. But maybe not too much, because if you end up dead, that's slightly my fault, but slightly not. Because I I warned you. I, I should be okay, right? If I warn people? Yeah, you like should, that's, that's, should be fine. You can dig, but just don't dig your grave. I like that. I like that. Um, It is crazy shit where they say that the higher-ups... Where the, the the celebrities and people high up in in government, you know, they they do like they have ch like child trafficking rings, which is like really disgusting to say. Cause well, I feel like Oswe, you kind of fell into it more than I did, but that's still crazy. Like like the the purpose for that, I just it's just so bizarre. Like I just. Like, that's just the sad thing, like, to get kids, like, of all things, like, I feel like if it was adults, it'd be slightly, I mean, it's still wrong in its own way, but it's just kids, that's really messed up, man. Oh, uh, hell. That's very... That whole, that whole shit, dude, you, when you told me about it, bro, the whole day I was just researching and just looking it up, you know, the whole Justin Bieber, yummy yeah, video, too. Oh yes, yeah, pray for Justin Bieber, y'all. Not, not to get more money, right, but, like, that man, he's trying to expose them, and, you know, we, he needs support, because if he ends up dead, that's, it's, it, it, it's like, ver like, verifying, that's just confirming, you know. The conspiracy already, cause it's just way too convenient. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um. Okay, give me a second here. Did you did you hear about the? Um, what's that one um, thing where you can buy furniture and shit? Oh, Wayfair. Yeah, Wayfair. Yeah. I saw that. That's yeah. that's very. That's, like that's I don't know. Okay. To be honest, I don't know, like, if that's real. I feel like some of them might be fake or coincidental, I think, because I I saw a video, or not a video, but it was a, it was a TikTok where, like, the dude, he's, like, on Wayfair, and he sees his own name. So I feel like if you can do that, then, you know, you can literally, like, fake it, basically, if you know what I mean. Like, it's more of a reach. But I don't know because they did Wayfair did didn't they have a walkout like for their employees like didn't they walk out? I don't know, but when I was like, I was just on Instagram one day and then they started talking about that and I was like, that's kind of crazy. No, that but yeah, you're right. It could be just coincidental.
I feel like I mean because uh, well I don't know about the names because the names are very unique like I've never seen those like uh it's like gets I don't remember the first one that gets Yukia Hira or something like that it was like very um very unique so but uh sorry um but um no yeah that's some crazy shit bro like this world is really fucked up man like the shit that on, and the shit that we don't know about is even more frightening you could say because it's just like i feel like we barely know anything you know or like we, we, we. it's just it's just sad man it's just a sad world that we live in oh god i thought i was gonna die from that yeah fuck this world you know what no fuck trump yeah, Mars the move. Mars the move. I I, I second that. I second <laughs> that. Mars is is a move. Do you okay? Do you feel like we could ever like actually live in a different like planet? Yeah. You think so? But not during our lifetime, huh? Oh no, nah, I don't think so. I feel like. I feel like that is a possibility, but at the same time, like, I don't know, man. That's just crazy to me, because then it's just like, I feel like it'd take uh, probably over a thousand years just to set everything up, because, like, you gotta, like, you know, do all, like, the way of living there is not the same as here, as you could say, which, yeah, which is, okay, okay, so, do you, do you, do you believe in the Big Bang? Oh, <gasps> Be, no, not really. Cause I feel like that's one of like the dumbest things that I ever heard, bro. Cause it's just like, it, like, I'd I'd rather believe in a god than like the Big Bang. Cause it's just like, that's kind of dumb. Like how do, do, uh, like you'd rather believe that the universe just coincidentally just decided to be born out of nowhere instead of like, like someone else actually creating it. Yeah, uh, yeah, see, that's, yeah. I don't know, it's just way too convenient for it, for me. Which, which, um, we should just jump into that topic, bro. So, do you believe in God? Um, I want to say yes, because, like, I, say yes. I was born like that. But, uh, I feel like, I mean, I, I feel like there's a higher power. I don't know about it, like, being um, called God or anything, but... Maybe, bro, because I, I think about it a lot, and I'm just like... <sighs> I don't know, like... Like, this, all the stuff that we learned, you know, at church, where they say that, like... And I always go back to this, like, with Adam and Eve. Like, what was the point of making them, knowing that they were going to mess up? Like, hey. come on now, like... What was the point of all that? Because then... It just basically just enabled our, our suffering, you could say, because then, like, you know, like, famine, disease was released into the world and all that other stuff, which, you know, I don't know. That's just crazy to me. And another thing is, like, the thing about religion is, like, worshipping, like, that's so, like, like not to say that's a bad thing that you worship something or someone, but, like, that's just, like... Uh, I don't know, like, for us at church, like, and I don't want to say no, like, blasphemy or anything, but they talk about how, um, you know, like, God is nice, he wants the best for us, but, like, then why do we have to worship him, like, why did, I, like, I just don't understand the fact that we have to come here and then prove our worth again, like, because you know how they say we used to be in heaven or whatever, and then, like, we came down to earth when we were born? Yeah. Like, what's the point of sending us back down to earth? I don't understand that, like. I don't know. That's just me, to be honest. But that's just I don't know. Religion is a weird thing. I don't know if I do believe or I don't. I'm just in an iffy spot. Cause like, dude, all the religions say that they're the right one, bro. Like, so how could you know? I mean, I feel like you know how we have the whole heaven and hell shit. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like whatever you believe in is what you're gonna see after death. I feel like that's more to do with okay, yeah, like that could make sense, right? Because your brain is like such an interesting thing that like mm-hmm. it enables you, but then at that point, then there's no like point to believing at anything at all, then because it's just all in your brain or all in your mind. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I feel that. But like, I kind of feel like that's how that's how it's gonna end up going. Like, if you believe in God and you believe in heaven and hell, then you're gonna end up seeing but God in heaven. But so tra- I feel like that's such a trash thing to do, though, because then it's like, if you generally like, I don't know, if you think you did bad, then you're obviously gonna end up in hell. Which that's that scary thing. Like, dude, I don't know, like. Where, like, I think about it, and, like, I don't know if I would either go to heaven or hell, because it's just, like, that's just scary, like, because you got to worship, like, eternity, but you also got to be in hell for an eternity, like, I think about an eternity a lot, and, like, as good as it sounds, bro, like, I feel like you don't have your own free will anymore at that point. Yeah. So that's just, like, my thing, so I'm just, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, so, I don't know, that's why, like, the whole fucking topic of heaven and hell kind of be scaring me. Oh, yeah. It makes me look a little shook. It's like, you know, you don't you don't really know what happens in the afterlife. Yeah, that is true. Like, I don't know. But I really like your, your thing with, um, with, uh, it, it might be in your mind, like, all in your mind. Yeah. Because, like, that could make sense because the mind is such an interesting thing. Exactly. Cause it's just like there's just so much that it can do, but we don't know. I don't know, dude. The brain, the brain. Imagine if we did. Do you feel like if we knew more about our minds, we could like do more shit with it, like? Yeah. Like. Heck yeah. Like, <laughs> like mind control. I don't know about mind control, but I just feel like if we knew more about it, like, you know, it just it just be way better off, and like. Yeah, we'll probably do some crazy shit. Or, like, a lot of us would be, like, smarter, in a way. Uh, I feel like if you knew... If you, if you could use, like, 100% of your brain to, like, its full, like, use, you could, like, probably, um... What's it called? You could probably be smart enough to, like, know, like, a whole bunch of things, like... Or, like, how the world started, or, like, right things from wrong. Because exactly. I feel like... I feel like history... It could be, like, changed so many, like, ways, like, and people could just write it differently, you feel me, like... Well, yeah, that's, that's but, like, the, the only thing about history that history sucks is that if you win, win like, if during wars and shit, if you win, win then you get to write, write about, about it. it. Not, like, no, the losers, so, like, they could be just be capping and then... Yeah, and that, is, that is true, but... That's, like, I don't know, man. I was gonna say something. Oh, that's one thing that I always talk about. I don't know if I've ever told you about this, but, like... With the Bible, like, you know how, like, it's, like, one of the, like, the first, like, it's not the first book that was ever, like, translated to, like, different languages? Yeah. Like, what's to say that the person that was translating them didn't just change, the, like, the Bible to, like, benefit themselves, you feel me? Yeah. Because, like, I, some people talk about, like, um, churches and religion being, like, all just for profit. Because you think about it, churches make a lot of money, dude. Like, a lot. You don't even know. realize it. So that's just it could be a big ploy. I don't know man, see that's, yeah, that's the thing though, like you can't really you can't really tell if something's really true or not. You just gonna I don't know. Either you go with your gut crazy. or you just go with the facts. Because if you've been taught something since you're like young, then it's like then you, like, because like, that's the same thing with like racism. You could say, because like, if if kids like at a young age are taught something that is like bad, you know, or like you know good, then that's like instilled to them like till they grow up, and then you know they, you know they have like already like strong opinionated like uh, the pre- prejudice are basically. Yeah. So I feel like if you believe in something when you're young, that's like you're more you're more biased to it. Yeah. Which kind of sucks. But, I don't know, man. That shit. Let's just move on from the religion talk, because, you know, 
it's a if it's subject and I don't want to get struck by lightning by in real life by God. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> so that, that's what my grandma used to tell me. She used to tell me that if you talk shit, like you'll get struck by lightning. And I was always like, "Yo, chill." Damn, you grandma. I was a bitch. I can see that. Oh, I still love she about to get you killed. No, it's not that. She's just wilding out. Um, for what though? Okay, wait, another, th wait, yo, is Kim Jong dead, like, Kim Jong Un dead or alive? I never figured that out. He's alive. Bruh. <laughs> he's fine, he's not. So it was all fake? Uh, yeah, I guess, isn't, yeah. Isn't, isn't that illegal? To fake your own death? Well, he didn't really fake his own death, there's people thought he had died because of the, his heart surgery or whatever. And because they thought it went wrong. Or some, mm. but like it didn't. Just it was just speculation. It wasn't true. I thought that like people said that he faked it just to find out like some shit about like the people closest to him. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe that's what he did. <laughs> that's what I read. But then that's why I was confused because I was like, I don't know if he died or he didn't die. Yeah, no, no he's still alive. Unfortunately. <laughs> Damn, I mean, yeah, Rocket Man is alive. Exactly. But I don't, I don't know. He, I think he's all shit. Like, he talks all this shit, but he can't really do it. Because I feel like, I don't know, like, us to be scared of North Korea? Come on now. Come on now. You yeah, really we probably think so? have, like, a shit ton of nuclear weapons all around the states, bro. We just, we just don't know where they really are. Except Who, them? Them on us? Us. No, us. Like, we have a lot. Oh, well, well, probably, but... Even then, like, their missiles can't reach us. Like, they can reach California, but they can't reach us. So we're... We're booling. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're booling, you could say. No, but you'd you think, think they'll target, target DC first. And they target DC, bro. No, no, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm I mean, dead. Would that really be such a bad thing on the world, you know, killing a pedophile, rapist, racist? Uh, I don't really think that's a rapist, bad racist. thing. Um, I'm not a pedophile, racist, racist, rapist. I don't know, bro. You don't sound really confident when you said that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm well, not. Who's to say that you aren't? And who's to say that you? I'm saying that I'm not. All I'm saying is you haven't been declared innocent in court yet, so that little girl is still, you know, suffering. So until court clears Dude. that up. Why are you trying to make me look like a criminal <laughs> back here? I don't do none of that. I'm not into none of that. Oh, but I'm not into none of that, bro. <laughs> oh my lordy Jesus! No, I don't think you're allowed no. to. No, not, no you can't way. joke like that. You can, even regardless of it's say hentai, nothing, bro. I didn't say. Who? Why, why are you talking, talking about hentai, bro? We're not Yo, talking about I hentai. I clearly heard you say hentai. And I, I did not, not say that, bro. Why are you always capping on my? I have trained name? my mind to recognize <laughs> any form of communication indicating to the word hentai so i think you have a porn I... addiction Steve. <laughs> I... okay but let's talk about every... that let's talk about your porn addiction this is where i'm gonna end my the the podcast no, today no because you want to say stuff I... about me we are I ending have a right addiction. here um leave a like no. if you like you don't have to subscribe i don't care i you could just watch it to watch it if you watch the whole thing Good looks. Um, shout out my boy Fabio because I feel like I created that man. You feel me? Um, <laughs> shout out Chipotle. Please sponsor me because if I were to get sponsored by anybody, it'd be Chipotle because I got literally eat there every day. Y'all is. I'll, I'll be sponsored by Chick Fil A. I'm fine with Chick Fil A sponsors. Sponsored by Jeffrey Dahmer. You fucking rapist. Yo, he uh, died though. <laughs> Well, this is where I'm ending the episode for today. Thank you for listening. Um, and I'll yeah, make sure this kid uh, stays away from elementary schools. So. Yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs>